Hi guys, I'm so excited because right now I'm with one of my personal role models, Jack Canfield. Live and in person right here. I can't believe I'm sitting next to you. Hi. Well, you are sitting next to me. I'm sitting next to you. Hi. How are you? <laughs> yes, I'm so excited because Jack has obviously been somebody I look up to as an author, as a motivational speaker, as an inspiring person who motivates thousands, millions of other people. Thank you. So and can, we were just talking about the secret to success, mm -hmm. and you were giving me some tips. Can you share with me one of the tips you said about how to be a great public speaker? Well, I think there's not just one tip, there's a lot of them, but I think the main thing is practice, practice, practice. So you, you were talking about, you know, you've been giving a lot of speeches. You said in one year I've gotten a lot better and you'll continue to get better every time you do it as I do. What's really interesting, I used to teach people how to juggle. And what would happen is... You, Actual juggling? Juggling, yeah. Okay. And what would happen is you'd end up dropping the balls. Right. But during the night when you were asleep, your brain was coordinating all that stuff. Is going, oh, we went too far here. We threw it too high there. And it was adjusting. So the next time you come back, you're naturally better at it. So everything you do consistently, you will improve on. And so speaking is really important. I think the other thing is to really decide what message you want to bring to people. Like, you know, you, you've been Miss Universe, you are someone who has achieved high goals, you're someone who's now in the coaching and your practice and doing trainings and so forth. And so, you know, of all the things you know to, to communicate, what is most important? And then also, what I found too, and I would say this is really important, is to not just learn how to speak to people, but learn how to train them in the sense of having them do exercises and activities where they have the aha moment that comes out of the little activity they did. It might be like three or four minutes. Like we're here in, in, in Bangkok, we're presenting at a, a success event. And one of the things I'll have people do is go back and forth starting sentences with the words I can't. And notice how they feel. Mm. And then I'll have them do the same sentences that are true in life, but say, now I won't, I choose not to. Okay. And at the end of that, I go, well, which felt more true? Well, I, I won't. Which felt more powerful? I won't. Well, I want you to eliminate the word can't from your vocabulary. Okay. And we can tell people that, but if we actually sh have them have an experience of the difference of it, then it Velcros into the system a lot stronger than just words. So right. you want to be inspirational but also, and motivational, but also giving people practical tools they can apply to their life. Like you and I were talking about meditation. Mm. It's one thing to tell people to do it. It's another thing if you have them close their eyes and experience it for five minutes and right. they go, oh, I feel more relaxed, I feel better. So I think those are a couple of the things. And then also, one of the things I teach everybody is the importance of feedback. When you, so whenever I do anything, I'll ask the question on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate that talk? Me as a husband this week, me as a father, me as a, you know, this book I wrote, whatever. And anything less than a 10 gets a follow-up question. What would it take to make it a 10? That's perfect. It's a very important. Yeah. And then you take that information and you get better at it. Yes. Most people never ask for feedback because they're afraid of what they're going to hear. That's right. But you can't get better without feedback. So basically those are a couple of tips for wow those are great video. fantastic thank you so much well I, I am looking forward to get some feedback on my book so I'm okay. going to send it to you I look forward to receiving it and I hope you like it because I put all my heart and soul into it yeah, of course. and I think it's pretty good but I would love to hear what you think I will be glad to share that with you. <laughs> thank you thank you Jack oh, you're welcome Adam. thanks for watching